The end of the hip hop world is here as we know it because J. Cole has responded to Kendrick Lamar's like that bars. But you know what J. Cole also did? He also apologized. Why J. Cole? Why Jermaine C? For some reason, J. Cole put out uh, a whole new album called Might Delete Later, which you know what? That is that is actually quite fitting for the for the name of the album or the mixtape, whatever it was. And he dissed Kendrick on a track called Seven Minute Drill. And then for some reason, he said, nah, you know what? This was the wrong idea. This ain't this ain't sitting right with my soul. And um, then he said, I apologize, Kendrick. I am so sorry. You are. You're right. There is no big three. It's just big you. <laughs> like it's the softest thing that hip hop has ever seen. Softer than Kevin Durant going to the Golden State Warriors after getting cooked. But we're here to watch his apology and figure out what the oh, my sounds are beeped. What the f was going through his head at this particular time? All right. With that. Let's watch it. Come on, J. Cole, what happened? Right. So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, no, nah, I don't do that. But I got to <laughs> keep it 100 with y'all, right? Come on, I Kendrick. damn near had a relapse, right? No. Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? Kendrick. So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, stop. for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you going to do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like... Bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking god. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Boom, 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 right? Niggas want to see blood. And, and I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart. You know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers. These two niggas that I've just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way. But the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and, and that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? This ain't Trinville, it. Y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? This ain't it. As do I. <laughs> so I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, yeah, yeah. It's love. Yeah. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path. Because I ain't going to lie to y'all. The past two days felt terrible. Like, <laughs> it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. The past two days felt so terrible. So all of that to say, man. I want to I want to now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I want to do that for y'all right now. Weak. 
I love you, J. Cole, but this ain't, I don't love him. I don't even know him like that, but I, li I like you, J. Cole, but my God, was that weak. I wonder why he did that. People are saying that he did that because he didn't get the response he thought he was going to get from people. Like he thought he was going to get a better response. Like, oh, you killed him on. I thought he I thought he had a good bars. I thought he had pretty good bars. You know what? Speaking of which, we're going to listen to J. Cole's track. Right right now, I don't want to. I don't know if I want to. I'm going to listen to it, but unfortunately, I'm going to cut it out of here on my video because I don't want to I don't want to catch a stupid copyright strike but uh for those people who are watching because we're recording this live be sure to follow me so you can watch me record podcast lives and we're gonna listen to it and then i'm gonna i'm gonna give my my thoughts on it Okay, so we just listened to the track. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought it was cool. I thought it was bars. Am I the only one? Am I an old head? Maybe I'm an old head. And it's like, he didn't, he he just yapping. That's what everybody loved to say. They just yapping nowadays. I thought J. Cole came with some heat. I thought he had some bars for Kendrick. He said, yo, first album was classic. Your last album was tragic. Your second one would put me to sleep, but people gassed it. Third one was your prime, which I want to say is damn, but I think he has other tracks on his discography, but those are like his main real tracks. Not like, you know, not, not like the untitled album that he did. I, I thought that was it. And then he was like four albums in 12 years. I could divide. I liked it. Maybe it's for old heads. <laughs> no, what I will say is I thought it was good. I thought he should have stood 10 toes down on it. But if he genuinely didn't enjoy making it because he thought, why am I responding and causing more controversy when we should all be collaborating and building up each other? I understand that. The only problem is, did Kendrick say that? Because Kendrick probably going to flame your ass for apologizing now. I don't because if if like think about it like this, if Kendrick shot off shots with no warning, you haven't, let's say the last time you saw Kendrick, it was all good between y'all, but he still made the the like that verse. Hey man, that doesn't mean Kendrick's gonna stop just cause you apologize. Kendrick is looking at you like, weak. He probably is thinking that too. That's actually true. Cause he's probably like, I'm, I'm, I'm a competitive, I'm a competitive artist, bro. I'm a competitive hip hop uh, MC. These are just shots at my contemporaries, people who I look at as competition. And then you shoot back and he's probably like, okay, Cole. Okay, Cole, I see you doing your thing, Cole. And then and then Cole's like, nah, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> he's like, nah, that's not sitting right with my spirit, man. I had to pull it. I had to pull the plug on that. He's like, what, Cole? Come on, Cole, what? Yeah, I don't know. To me, it feels like J. Cole could have given Kendrick an apology behind the scenes, similar to how Macklemore apologized to him behind the scenes when he beat him for best rap album when Macklemore was hyper aware that he does not make good enough rap music to have beaten him but then Macklemore put it out there in the public of his apology and even Kendrick was like yeah I don't know I don't know why buddy did that he was like he could he sent me the message I don't know why he went out of his way to tell the world like the world needed to know this is Macklemore part two except it's starring J. Cole, Jermaine C is what we call him now. Everyone is flaming him. They are flaming him from here to the Bahamas. I don't know where I was going to say, but they're flaming him everywhere, man. He's getting fried up on the internet. Speaking of which, we're going to look at these last few messages that DJ Academics <laughs> wrote out, out loud or wrote on his Twitter. And, and then we're going to wrap up this, uh, this topic. All right. So DJ Academics tweeted the night that J. Cole put out his apology. He wrote, you know how academics sound. Meow. He sounded like a little like Meowth. He sounded like Meowth. That's right. Meow. <laughs> man, this man. <laughs> don't, I don't 
don't know how to do a GJ Academics impression. He put, man, this Cole, J. Cole, just gave Kendrick Lamar a buy round in a battle. Kendrick don't even got to drop another song. Literally, the you dissed tried to diss you back and apologize for even trying to disrespect disrespect you. What the f is going on? We've never seen this in history of rap. That's the part that I agree with. I have never seen anybody apologize for bars. That's not a thing I've ever heard of. So even I find that very concerning. DJ Academics continues. I knew, I knew, I knew J. Cole. <laughs> this is my DJ Academics impression. I know my DJ. <laughs> Sorry. I knew J. Cole wasn't about that ish when he was getting buttered up by Drake. <laughs> what? Buttered up by Drake every night on stage for being number three. And he stayed blushing, accepting the runner up awards for years before now claiming he's the best. <laughs> he never believed it. Yo, that's a wild, that's a wild comment to put. He said getting buttered up. Um, and then it says, I ain't gonna lie, a New York rapper wouldn't be apologizing for neither an LA rapper. I don't know what J. Cole on. The Carolinas ain't looking good. <laughs> Yo, these are hilarious. Yo, these are hilarious. Yo, this is probably the only DJ Academics rant that I support. He's saying some very valid things. I don't think he's being nice about it, but he's saying what he feels. All right, so then he says, Cole really was never built to be number one. He was always the middle child, literally. Dang, this is so mean. Leave it to Drake and Kendrick to battle it out. Drake might have to diss J. Cole just for the of it. How the, how the hell we in a fight and you apologizing to the ops? What the per, First person shooter don't even hit the same after that damn apology. <laughs> Right? Because they were taking subliminals on those tracks. That's the truth. If Drake apologizes to Kendrick Lamar, I'm done with rap. I'm a cover and only listen to country music. <laughs> J. Cole apologized to Kendrick Lamar, WTF. What, what the f is going on in rap? Man, this violated you. You retaliated and you apologized. Kendrick might be right. Ain't no big three. It's just big him. What the f***? <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious, and I I gotta kind of agree with academics on this one. Agreeing with academics, he's not wrong. In the sense of this has never, I've never seen anyone apologize for, for rap beef that they didn't start. Or maybe, no, no, excuse me, that they played a part in. Cause yeah, J. Cole on first person shooter with, with uh, with Drake, that that is a that is a subliminal diss track, or so I think. I don't know, man. Listen, I'm from the '90s. I, they used to just immediately they they would immediately say who they were dissing, like Ether by Nas. It it says Jay Z in like three in like twelve seconds. <laughs> Eminem versus Benzino is literally like nail in the coffin dr dre versus jermaine dupree like you know there is eminem versus machine gun kelly like man cannabis versus eminem is it cannabis i think so i forget no that's maybe that's wrong i forgot but still i don't know man this is uh this is this is nasty work is what they say nowadays that's what they say speaking of which now that i think about it j cole just threw drake under the bus bro Bro, you were supposed to, you first person shoot up, bop, 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 bop. y'all supposed to be shooting together. Now, your scary ass went off and said, hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro, just, it was just a prank, bro. I'm just kidding, dog. I, I didn't mean it. Like, now that he doesn't mean it, Drake has to respond. Drake has only been doing passive aggressive uh, TED Talks on his tour, but if he doesn't respond, to this J. Cole, uh, excuse me, Kendrick shots, then y'all got y'all got to just agree that Kendrick is the one, even though he hasn't made an album since the big steppers in the in the trumpets, whatever it was called. But now that now that J. Cole has literally said, I mean, I, li I like I like Kendrick. J. Cole got too much mental health for this beef, y'all. That's the problem. As someone who who does uh, therapy, he's too. He's too mentally aware and cognizant of his of his life to to go into this rap beef. He's sitting there like, 
you know what he did? He did yo, you you know the meme, uh the meme with Woody and uh Buzz where he's where it's like, hold on, let him cook. You've seen that one, right? This is J. Cole holding back Kendrick, like, hold on, dog. I got this. And then you put out a cool little mixtape album. You got seven minute drill, which I thought was good. I liked it. I'm not I'm not saying either one was better or whatever. It's just like I liked them both. But then then you go and you say that you don't want no no smoke. Now Drake has to have smoke. And if Drake doesn't have smoke for Kendrick, then y'all got to call him Big Ken, Big Kenny, Big Kenny. <laughs> He's, he's the, y'all, cause listen, ain't no big three. It's just big me. Bow! <laughs> you gotta just let it be now. So Drake has to make a sound, track, song, bar, diss. He has to. He's trapped now. J. Cole set you up, Drake. <laughs> Yo, what if this was, what if this is like, uh, what do they call it? A Trojan horse. What if, what if, uh, what if what if J. Cole was always on Kendrick's side? <gasps> Do I have a bum bum bum? Wow. What? I don't have that sound effect. I need it though. I need I need the th the the Undertaker sound effects. Bruh, how you gonna do that to to Drake, bro? I've never, I literally have never seen anything like this in hip hop. All right, I'm, I'm done. I think that's it. Me keep mental health out of my rap beat.